What up, what up? Heading out after the rainstorm this morning. Wasn't real bad, but uh, put in over here at uh, Waterside Marina. And uh, gonna go check on them old crappy. See if I can dirty up that fillet table right there. Stormy day, stormy morning, really cloudy, overcast, nasty. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna try to fish in between storms and uh we can't i can't complain about the rain because we really do need it water's still real low in the lake and uh we need it so i'm gonna see if the crappie want to eat before it comes down really good i think they'll they'll feed pretty good so here we go yeah i wasn't gonna record because it's it's looking nasty out here but uh more crappy they want to feed already so i put two of them in the cooler already so might as well whip out the camera and record a little bit. Let's get it. It's looking pretty bad out here though. It is cloudy everywhere. It is cloudy everywhere. No lightning just yet. So let's see if we can catch a few. Thermocline is still real bad, as y'all can see. Get back over here on some of this little old structure. Having to do a bunch of scanning. Probably caught those two, I don't know, 30 yards apart. So I'm just, just running through and uh, scanning these stick ups right here. Not trying to get very far from the ramp, so I think we're gonna get some old, some old good rain here in a little bit. I'll still be able to pick up some good fish right off in here too. I mean, it's, they, they're just all over this lake and uh, just gotta put that time in and search them out. Look over each little piece of stick up because they will lay on that structure and you'll pass them right on up. If you're not paying attention I got one tucked off in the middle of these two sticks right here let me see if I can entice him out of there come on come on ah little rascal might have been moving a little bit too fast for him but as slow as he was moving I don't think he was going to be uh, aggressive anyway Yeah, I can't wait until the cooler, cooler, cold, or let me say cold weather get here because that usually helps them get a little bit more aggressive. It usually helps them get a little bit more aggressive. So I'm going to try to see if I can get on this one right here. He's, he's tucked in there too. I mean, he's tucked in there. The little one wants to come and play. Get out of the way. Let me get to that bigger one down there. That little joker had my jig. Oh, there he is. There you go. That's a catfish there, though. I think there's a. Oh, there he's coming out of there now. All right. That catfish scared him out of there. Come on, come on, hit it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. That's making it happen right there, y'all. That's what you call making it happen. That's what you call making it happen right there. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Couple of smaller ones right there too. I'm gonna check them. See if they wanna play. Just a little 30 second ounce jig that I'm using. Jig head that I'm using. And uh, you see how much slower it falls. Those air bubbles are coming up right there. Come on. Look at that little joker. He a little bitty guy anyway. Looks like it might be another bigger one. Oh, look over here. Look on these limbs laying over here. Look at there. 
it's like I say, you better analyze that structure on, on this lake. I don't know about all the other lakes where the fish just live suspended, but there's another good one right there, look like, before we get to those three. Dug up under a limb right there. Let's see if I can make him move, y'all. I know y'all probably don't see him. I'm not even going to say nothing until he moves. If I don't get tangled up trying to make him get out of though. See him up under that limb right there? He, he don't want to play though. So we're going to go on to these right here. See if they want to play. Can barely see them. They're up under something. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just knew he had it. Alright. Let's check these other ones. Come on. They're small anyway, I think. They're right there. Get it. Alright, we got one more left to go. Before we got to move on. Let's see if he'll want to eat. Well, he darted at it. I think he just swatted it out of his face. Gotta draw up on him. He's coming towards the boat. And we're drifting too. Look at him going inside that structure. See if we can make him mad enough to hit it. Come on, hit it. He don't want to eat. He just wanted it out of his face. Find that a lot. Everybody want to think live scope. Just come out here and lay wood to these uh, crappie, but I'm going to tell you something, especially on this lake, you better have your game face on when you come here because these jokers going to make you work for it. I don't know how I get by with doing as good as I do uh, when I guide out here. I got to be a crazy man try to guide on this lake. Is that a catfish? Whatever it is, he's trying to run. Little bitty dude pecked it. Mm, should I move on? I think I'm gonna move on. That's a non aggressive area right here. Hopefully, this big old stick up don't hit my transducer. I'm right on top of it, y'all. Well, at least my transducer's past it now. My motor might hit it. Water's down, so you gotta be careful out here. A lot of stick ups and that may be a pretty decent fish right there. Or a bait ball, one or two. Yeah, we moving away. I think that was a bait ball that dispersed. Sometimes them great big old fish, that's what they look like. Look just like a bait ball. But they don't break up. Alright, on to the next. I think I recorded my last little catch. My beep didn't sound right. I just caught a good one, y'all. I'm gonna try to catch this good one. Pretty decent little old fish. Come on now. There we go. You sorry joker, you. <laughs> Gave it a good chase. That's it. Is he going to come back? I'm going to put it back in his face again. Come on. You're going to get tired of that jig being in your face there, buddy. You're going to do something to get it out of your face. Top that little limb. Got that noisy cooler back there, y'all. Come on, do something with it.
Yeah, I think I need to change colors. Get get something that they're gonna be mad or it. Tell you what, they digging into that structure. They getting deep in it. Now, got to retie, y'all. All right, here we go. For sure, recording now. Same little brush pile, went with a different jig, different color. Still a micro. This is a plastic from Limits Tackle. Orange and sharp. Let's see how it works. I had a couple sample jigs too that uh, I'm gonna check out and see if they work. Yeah, they in there tight, y'all. Don't get snagged up. Brand new jig I just tied on. Maybe I just need to go to a different brush pile. Maybe they just uh, want to go to sleep right here. They might just be wanting to go to sleep. Yeah, they in it. I'm not getting any reaction with this one. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try it on another brush pile. But I might be having to to uh, change. I wouldn't put plastic now so I don't have to retie. I'll just uh, change plastics. I got a few of them laid out. So we can find that color that they just can't stand in their face. Like a decent fish there. If it's a fish, see a really bright spot right there. Yeah, he, that may be a catfish. He folding on off in it. See him going down off in there. wind to switch directions on me got me spun all the way around usually on uh, days where the weather's just just not not good usually these fish go crazy out here so there's something on top of that I'm gonna let it pass over it Yeah, no, nope, too many small ones for a big one to be there. There's a good one. Look like he's right on the top of it. I may have to slow us down. See if I can buy us a little time. Come on, come on. Yeah, no. Well, not sure that this is going to be the color, yo. All right, I'm gonna go on and change it. They, they didn't didn't even notice that that color. So we gonna change up real quick. And this is a uh, one and three quarter inch stinger that I mean a uh, split tail that I'm putting on now. A little bit bigger bait. Not sure if this is gonna be the color, but gotta check it. Got to check it. Ooh, is that one right there? No, I'd like a piece of structure, maybe. That's probably a piece of structure. These jokers are getting dug into this structure right now. Golly. See one sitting on the back side of that little stump right there. He's right at up under it. Gonna see if we can drop a jig on top of his head. If I can if I can see him when we get spun around. Nope, oh, he took off. That joke darted off. There's a couple more of them there. Maybe that same fish just coming back a little lower. Well, at least he's seen it. Come on, come on. There we go. Well, he might make it. Nice little keeper. Nice little keeper. Oh yeah. Alright, let's get on another one.
that choker is stuck to that during gone structure. Wrong angle. Angles mean a lot. Pretty decent looking little fish. I'm gonna see if I can't spot him. He's behind that limb there now. This wind is, is changing directions like crazy on me. It's got me spinning around. I still don't see him. Just like that. Pretty decent little fish, but he in there somewhere. Is that him right there? Oh, he is. He can't, finally came out of there. He was backed up a little bit. He's right up under the boat. Right up under the patrol motor. That's him right here. That's the one we're trying to get to. Alright. Get us stopped. Let's see if he'll eat. Come on, come on. Oh, moving a little bit too fast. A little bit too fast. Don't you go nowhere. I got something you want to eat. Yeah, he's still on the move. Now I'm going too fast. Come on. Come on. Nope. Chased it for a little bit. Chased it for a little bit, y'all. If I can spot him again. Looks like he's on the other side of that little stick up. Yeah, this stuff here is so thick that they can get blocked by so much down there. I think I see him. He's joker still on the move though. He ain't in no structure right now. He getting closer, son. This wind is starting to pick up and making me have to run my troll motor. Hot, and then when I get up on him, I'm going too fast. Yeah, he done made it to it already. Hey, he's a decent little fish. Look like one sitting on the top of that little stick up right there. See how much brighter it is? Uh, that may be white bass. They're moving kind of fast. Look at this little joker. Another little black crappie. Another little black crappie. Wish you would have fell off in the water there, buddy. I'm not going to turn my camera around, but he's probably a nine and three quarter inch small fish. Well, I'm not the only crazy one out here. I see another boat coming. I don't know if he's fishing or just uh, ripping and running. That's probably a catfish on top of this one. He's long. He's a long fish. I can see a split in his tail and everything right here. Here's another little pile. Got some fish on it. Wind's out of another direction now. So we got to see if we're going to be able to entice one out of here quick. Got the wind blowing us. chased it. I think we're just going way too fast. All right, I'm going to have to get behind a wood line. I think I'm going to have to get behind a wood line. That wind is trying to pick up on us. Feels good though. There we go. Another little bitty guy, a little white crappie. 
Well, I can't get that big one right there at the top. Well, that big one don't want to bite. A little bitty guy, I'm not going to turn my camera. I'm not going to turn my camera for that one. So we can get this other one lit up. He ain't trying to have it. There's another decent one in the middle of that joker. See if he want to act right. And the wind's changing directions again. I ain't gonna complain about it because this is just nothing but practice. I do want the fish to cooperate. Not you little bitty dude. Yeah, there's too many little ones there. Alright. Let's make a move. There we go, finally. Yeah, finally. A few decent fish in there. Nice little keeper. Nice little keeper. Oh, yeah. There's another one right here. Let me yank this other one out, and then I'll, uh, Let me try to yank this other one out. Let me say that. They are dug in. There's a couple of them that's out right there. Keep them lit up. Come on. Ah. They're going right back in it. They got a good hiding spot right there. They've got a really good hiding spot right there. He's down there in it. Come on, hit that bait. Ah, little joker. He may not be so little. There we go. Yeah, hey, he's a little bitty guy. See why he took off. He darted, he, he was scared. He was scared that bait was going to eat him. <laughs> he was scared that bait was going to eat him. Be sure a little tailbone still. Another little old bitty black crappie, itty bitty guy, probably, I don't know, eight inches, maybe. I must be in the wrong area. I'm scared to leave it go far from the ramp because I think it's going to be tearing down again here in a minute. The way it's looking over there. I really believe it's going to be tearing down. There's like maybe a couple good ones in there. They're holding above that thermocline for sure. See if we can target a better fish in there. They all up under that lim them limbs though. Yeah, he's in there. Come on. Hey, oh, he hit it. <laughs> Settle back down. Go get your spot back. I'm gonna show. Put it right back in your face. 
try to. Let's try one of these here. Come on. Little bitty guy. Maybe a good one right there. He's up under it though. So we can get back to that one that he's up under two limbs now. Put <laughs> the jokers there. There you go. Oh, itty bitty, itty bitty baby. We need something bigger than that. When they close to that structure, it's kind of hard to tell. Tell their size. It's kind of hard to tell their size while they're laying on that structure. As old Forrest Gump would say, it's like a box of chocolates. Just never know what you're going to get. Two small fish. There you go. One of them. Oh! <laughs> he hit it, y'all. I had him. Had him coming up, but he let it go. He hit it coming up. This dang wind. Having to choke up on my bait right there. Come on, hit it. Just nipping it. Get out of my face.
ton of bait down there. There we go. Man, I had to choke up a lot up for that, Joe. If I can hurry up and get him in the boat, he'll be a nice box fish. 12 inch fish, 12 and a half maybe. Glasses are fogged up. Look like my lens is fogged up on my camera. It's humid out here, y'all. It's a nice and it's a nice box fish. Let's go. Try to target that one right there. There we go. Nice fish. Oh, you dog, you. He got off, y'all. <laughs> Golly. What's really going on? I think I need a bigger hook. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I did a good hook set on him. There's another one right there. See if we can get him. All right, I'm not sure if that's the same fish, but I see a fish. I had to change my, ex oh, hook up my external battery to my camera. All right, where'd they go to? Having to look it over good, y'all. Not seeing the one I seen a while ago. Before my battery wanna die down. See one way out there at that tip, but there's some it's one that was a lot closer in. That looked like one right there. I can slow down a little bit. Come on. <laughs> See if we can put it back in his face again. He was interested. Come on, fish. No. You want me to get hung up, don't you? You put that hook in your mouth, it won't be a chance of me getting snagged in that limb. Do it, y'all. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. I see one over here on the stump. I'd rather stump than a lay down like that. There's two of them on that stump, actually. One at the very top of it. See if we can get him to 
for me. If you just let it pass right on by. Oh. It's like you better not eat that bait. I hear the thrust on my troll motor, but this wind is sort of picked up on me out here, so come on. Ah, it's a good fish. It's a good one. Need to put some stank on it. Maybe I need to put oh these jokers here so in there so thick. <laughs> he darted at it, but that's all he did. Come on, fish. On to the next. On to the next. Alright, got a few on this little bitty, little bitty stick up. See if we can get lined up on them. You got to be kidding me, really? <laughs> I mean, right at the top of the water, I'm getting to see them see in everything. Them jokers are popping off. Small guy. I'll get this joke in all day long. But my theory on that is some small ones, they gotta kill it. The bigger fish, they don't they don't have to kill it. Just a little bitty baby. Them, them small ones gotta kill that bait, so they gonna take it in and be crushing it up. Them big fish, they don't have to. They just barely nip it, you know. There we go. That's a better fish. Yeah, he's uh he's a keeper. Eleven inch fish. Let's 
He'll go for a good cause. Bam! Oh yeah, nice one. He makes the cut. Still a few more fish in there. They only, they, I mean, they are stacked in it. They in it. See if we can entice them out of there. Prefer not that itty bitty one. Come on. There we go. Oh, a little bitty guy. But it's like I say, when they're stuck on that structure, it's really hard to, really hard to uh, determine their size. Those other ones are not wanting to do it. Nope. All right, on to the next. Here we go on the next little pile. These are stuck to the structure too. They are stuck to the structure too. Let's see what they want to do. Oh, I was on the lake show on that one. He had it. He had it. All right, there's a couple more here. Like a decent fish. It's not two or three of them together. There we go. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Get away from my bait, Lilla. I got a big one right there to entice. Wonder where my bait was. It's on the other side of that piece of structure. <laughs> you got to pay attention to them numbers up top, y'all. There's a ton of small ones on that high part. I'm looking for my bait, and it's on the other side of the structure. These are where the good ones are. It's a little lower piece. You get it stopped. And a little joker jumps out of there. And a little bitty dude. A little bodyguard. I'm gonna be your tailbone still. 
I, I didn't show him to y'all because he's just a little dink. I need a biggin in the boat, so let me get a biggin in the boat. to have another another jig tied on. Hate to take this one off. I can caught some decent fish on it. But we're gonna take it off. Alright, I see one around the other side of that pile. It's just out in the open. piece of structure right here. Got some good ones up under that. They are for it to be a uh, overcast day, they sure are tucked in this structure. Seem like they'd be out and roaming. But I've seen this before. Whereas they get super tight. Like this, uh, hmm. <laughs> that joker darted out like he was getting ready to murder it. Just trying to get it out of his face, I guess. He got it. A little bitty guy, though. A little bitty dude. Getting ready to move on to the next one. Let's try this one right here on the top. He may be wanting to feed. I'd like a better, bigger fish on top of that too. Hmm. On the wrong end of him. Joker's finicky again today.
Look at the big one. He getting he he taking off. His little bodyguard got uh, took off, so he took off. Unbelievable. Let's see if that bigger one right there. If I can get my jig to him. Come on. Man. Went up under it. There's too many bodyguards right there. Another decent looking fish right here. You got to be kidding me. Really? All they're doing is chasing it away saying get away from me. They're sitting down there fat full. Maybe another decent fish right here. Maybe. What am I going to have to do, y'all? That's the magic question. What am I going to have to do to entice them to bite? Getting their attention. Getting their attention. All right. Time for a color change again. Oh, I know what I need. I need that blue shiner. All righty. So I got that blue shiner on now. Let's put it on fish and see if uh if they'll go for it. There's a pretty decent one right there. See if we can get on top of his head. Like he's out in open water, maybe. maybe. He's swimming though, going to the bottom. See if I can keep him lit up. Put this jig on top of his head. See how he reacts. bit too fast for that one. What about that? That's like a white bass. He's swimming awfully fast. There we go. See the difference? Making them changes, y'all. Making them changes. You know, a lot of folks say color don't matter. But I beg to differ. I've been saying that for years. I've seen it for years. Seen it for years. Color matters. Yes, sir. That'd be a nice filet right there. Oh, yeah. Old cool starting to look like something. All right, let's find our next target and see if he'll have some agarite on him. He might have some agarite on him.
little bitty guy. Bodyguard come out of there. We don't want the bodyguard. Oh, another tail nip. Okay. Right back in his face. This was one of those days that'll really test your patience, but, you know, I've always seen days that, that end up like this, and, and sometimes certain areas of a lake, these fish will just be dormant. They're, you have to really, really, you know, upset them to make them bite. A lot of times when I see them stuck under the structure as they are on this day, a lot of times if you get that jig in their space, they'll, they'll hit it pretty aggressively just to get it away from them. But they didn't seem to want to do that on this day. Uh, another thing that I'll, I, I've been trying to do is change depths. Uh, you, you'll notice here in a minute I'll, I'll go deeper, I'll go shallower, just to see how their their attitudes are in that different depth. You know, a lot of times just just changing depths of water will, will help uh, uh, find aggressive fish. Just another little tail nip. Just saying, get out of here. I don't want to eat you. Get out of here. Well, on to the next. All right, here we go on the next little pile. Got a few fish on it. Got the back is up. I went past it just a little bit. Like some decent fish there. Lots of bait above them. So I'll bust my bait, my jig through the bait ball. Get down there and tap. Oh. Tap him on the head. He hit it too. I think they're just tail nipping it. There we go. It'd be a box fish. Oh yeah. It'll be a box fish. Make 11 inches. Oh, that joker stuck me good, y'all. Ooh wee. He stuck me good. Yeah, 11 inch. Yeah, he's he's a flyer. He's a flyer. Oh yeah. That thermal climb is pretty bad this morning. Alright, here we go on another little pile. Got some fish on it. The unit that I'm running is a Gorman 106 SV. It's a 10 inch unit. And I'm running the GT56 and 
LVS-34 live scope transducer. See if we can get that big one from up under it. that joke a move yet. There we go. Got him. Oh, yeah. In the boat there, boy. Get in the boat. Look a lot better to me in the boat. Oh yeah, you're nice, nice for later. We on our way, y'all. There we go. Got him to come out of there. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What is that, six fish out of the lost, y'all? Get him up to the top, them jokers are coming off. That one. He ain't no monster for sure. He, he might make ten and a half. Tough as this bike didn't get. I think he's going in the box if he make ten and a half. He may not make it. Probably ten inch fish. Yeah, we're gonna let him swim. Yeah, I could I don't know why I didn't show him to y'all. Oh well. We got plenty more to go. Got plenty more to go. Good ones. That was a dink. Just barely, I mean barely on the line of 10 inches. And you know I don't do them. I don't do them. Let's see if we can get this one out here. It's like a little better fish. Again, up under the... Come on. Come out of there and went right back in it. Got one right there at the end, right on top of it. See if he reacts. Diving down. One thing's for sure, sometimes these crappie will seem like they've disappeared, but that's one of the reasons why I take my time and I scan all the structure very good because they will hide laying on top of the structure, up under the structure. You really have to pay attention 
to the uh, the shape of that structure because th those fish will lay on it and under it and you really have to pay attention to see them. Got him. I don't know if I'm recording. Oh yeah, I'm recording. Settle down there, boy. You've been served. Just old nice and oh yeah. Let's do. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. Try to get on that one right there. I oh, like two fish. There we go. Nowhere near as big as I was thinking he was. But of course, you know the little one going, the little one going to jump in there first. He going, he going to try to show out first. And just as you're seeing right there, this is another fact that you'll have to deal with, uh, with the uh, live tech. If there's a couple, two or three fish that's pretty close together, it will give you the. Uh, the false image of a really good fish and uh, unless those fish make a move or separate a little bit you you won't know it until you, you get a jig down there ah I knew better than that thank you Here's a big tip that'll help you save some jigs. If you get tangled up, just pay attention to the direction that your boat was going. Go the opposite direction, and usually your jig will just fall off that structure. But you have to pay attention to the direction you got into that, that tangle. I see a good one right there, y'all. That wind blew me right across the top of it. Safe for that. I'm not gonna be able to see him in no other direction. The angle of my boat will be wrong. Oh, that's a tough position right there. Mm -hmm. I missed him, y'all. <laughs> he came out of aggressive. He came out of there really aggressive. Looks like a fish right there.
Nope. I didn't set the hook on that fish. Come on now, SK. Mm, 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 mm. Everybody have off days, y'all. And today seeming like it's going to be one of mine. Most of these jokers are like they're facing the opposite side of the tree than what I'm on. The wind's blowing right into it. Let's see if I can drop right on this joker's head. He's down in it too though. There we go. Well, it's still a small one, though. Looked like a good fit. I think it was two of them together. Most will probably look at a trip like this and say that it was a bad day on the water, when in actuality, it's a very good day on the water because this is how you get better with live tech. You get out there on the tough days, and it makes you realize what you need to look for to, to know where the fish are. Finding them in the structure is a great technique to put up under your hat and the only way you learn to do it is to go out there on the days that it's not super easy just dropping down there catching fish just in, in op open water or that's in uh, on top of the structure when you got to go off inside of that structure to find these fish and entice them and, and it helps with your boat control and everything in, involved with the uh, with live scoping and on top of that I still ended up with a very nice sack of fish and you will also if you put that time in or as I usually always say, put that work in. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Just old and nice. Oh yeah. Yes sir. Making it happen. Taking a little longer than I want it, but hey, if they finicky, you gotta search for the active fish. Fishing a little bit deeper. Made another change to the color. Sun's trying to pop out. And uh, we had a little front roll through. Hey, I like challenging days, and today is one of them. Oh, you sorry dog, you. <laughs> that's about eight or nine fish that I've had hooked up today. That's uh, that, that's how you know that they're biting finicky. Just barely getting a hook in them jokers. But hey, that's part of crappie fishing. You don't catch them all. You don't catch them all. In this instance right here, there's three fish on this little brush pile right here. 
and this is a true test of boat control and uh, being persistent stand at these fish because the thing is if you if you ag aggravate them enough they the only way that they can do anything about that jig being in their face is with their mouth yes they can tail swat it but majority of the time the only thing that they're going to do is 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 eat that jig to, to get rid of it uh, and the only thing that they can think that it is is a bug or possibly a shad or, or, or a minnow uh, so they're definitely not scared of it as long as you don't go out there shaking it like crazy uh, and you'll see here that 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 third fish that I'm talking about you'll see him come up off the bottom just a little bit he's down in that thermocline and you'll see him here shortly but being persistent, staying at it. Uh, so on some days you get out there and that this is just what I have to do. And I know that if you do it, your results will be the exact same. Uh, these fish, they, they get very timid at times. They get, they, they settle down there on that bottom on some structure and, and they don't want to move. They really don't want to feed, but you can force feed them. And that's what I'm having to do on this day. There we go. That'd be a box fish. Ain't nothing major, but he's a box fish. He's gonna make it 11 inch mark, I believe. Hey, he's right there at it. He'll do. He'll do. He will do.
Sorry that I didn't show you guys that fish I just caught, but it was just an 11 inch or so keeper. Nice, nice filet. So I wanted to bring up this topic because I hear it almost daily from guys that's either been out uh, on fishing trips with me or that I've did installs or that, that people that just call for information on how to get better with live scoping. I know it can be very frustrating. You sit there and you watch this video and the thing is, you can't just watch the screen. Uh, there are more important things. Uh, that cone is only a 20 degree cone and, and I, I highly recommend that it be on your troll motor. And, and watching that troll motor, the, the direction that troll motor is pointing is just as important as having your depth set, having your depth right. Uh, but the, the steps you wanna take to get better at live scoping is one know what your target range is and i have several videos where i've explained that know your target range go out don't even put a rod in your hand just work with your boat control to keep that boat to where that fish is at that at that target range once you get fairly good at that don't even worry about dropping on a fish go out there on your boat and turn that troll motor in different directions and you want to see that jig falling down in that cone once you get good at that, that's when you can get a fish to that target range and get that jig down there quickly. And I will tell you this, you only have seconds. You only have seconds to make that jig get to that fish, give it the right amount of action, and try to entice that fish. Your boat's, your boat's going to move. Your, the fish is going to move. There's, there's so many different things that you have going on at that same time in that short amount of window, that little limited window. So you have to be on point with your boat control and your jig placement. Once you get those things lined out, your catching will go through the roof. Now I will tell you this, it takes time on the water. Uh, you do need a good teaching and uh, I do do instructional trips to where that's all we do is, is uh, don't worry about fishing, we get you tuned in to to the live scope if that would be something you'd be interested in just give me a text give me a call we'll get you on the schedule we'll get you taken care of now if you guys enjoyed this information if you enjoyed this video the edit the catches the struggle be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already
Thank you for watching and more coming soon.